Alaska has a lot of interesting things about it. For the majority of its existence and was occupied by various indigenous people. But by the 18th century it became occupied by Russia. It was sold to the United States in 1867, for $7.2 million, at approximately 2 cents per acre. It became a state in 1912 as the 49th state. Its total area is 663,268 square miles. The capital of Alaska is Juneau. In the winter Alaska averages around 32 degrees Fahrenheit and 54 degrees Fahrenheit in the summer. Alaska has a longer coastline than all the other U.S. states combined. Alaska has over 300 small volcanic islands called the Aleutian Islands. The purchase of Alaska was a huge step for the U.S. because it started the expansion of the U.S. into the Pacific, where we would become a great power in the Asian Pacific region. The U.S. was in competition with Russia when it started to expand westward. Russia was not particularly interested in their territory in North America because Russia never had more than 400 people in Alaska, and defeat in the Crimean War even further reduced Russia's interest in Alaska. Russia first tried to sell Alaska to the U.S. in 1859, but the Civil War delayed the purchase. Secretary of State William Seward offered to purchase Alaska in 1967 for $7.2 million. It was then approved by the Senate and President Andrew Johnson, and on October 18, 1967 it was formally transferred to the U.S. One of Alaska's main exports is oil. Since the 1920s Alaska oil has flourished, except for a small dip in 1985. Alaska's biggest oil production area is Prudho Bay. Since 1967 huge amounts of money have gone to the state from Prudho Bay. In 1966 these oil fields merged with Atlantic Oil to become Arco. These new fields it created is estimated to produce 13 billion dollars. With all of this new oil being produced most investors knew that there would have to be a better way to transport the oil to the mainland, thus they would create the Alaska Pipeline. Yeah.